human body detection feature on a Durrani uh, camera. Uh, first thing you do is you need to log into the NVR. And what we'll see down here is the alarm notification. So human body detection is under alarms. So we can just select that there. Now, not all cameras uh, have this feature or are compatible. You'll see here that when it says enable, if you're unable to tick that, then that model of camera that you have does not support this feature. So we'll just use a drop down bar here and we'll pick another camera. And we'll see here we've got the option to tick or untick here. So that means that this camera does support um, the human body detection. Uh, so the four megapixel Starlight cameras with audio also have the human body detection and the mini PTZ cameras as well. Uh, so what we need to do here is actually draw an area. So we've enabled it. Now we need to draw the detection area. So from here we just select draw and pick your area. I'll just do pretty much the full screen here. And that there will be our detection area. So once we've done that we hit apply and then we can choose what we want to happen when it picks up the human body detection. So the trigger actions are, you'll see up here we're on D2, camera 2. So we want to record camera 2. We can also have or other cameras on that system start recording as well when it picks up that activity. So if you've got three cameras maybe looking at the one spot, you can have all three of those cameras record when one specific camera picks up a human body detection. So we can hit apply there. Uh, go to preset. If you have a PTZ camera, uh, you can program certain locations into uh, those, uh, those cameras and you can have it go to a predefined area if you like. I haven't got any of the presets set up here, but if I did have one here, um, if I hit OK, when it picks up human body detection, I can have that camera swing around to go to a certain area. Uh, preview. This here will override whatever is on the screen uh, for any given time. So if I tick apply on D2, when it picks up human body detection, uh, whatever's on the screen, it will show camera two up on a full screen. If your camera supports alarm outputs, um, you can choose one from this drop down menu here to trigger siren strobes or anything like, like that there. Or you can choose to have an internal buzzer go off on the NVR. Um, you can have it send you an email or a pop up window which shows the, the activity that happened on the screen. So right now we've got our area drawn and we've done our trigger actions and we've got arming scheduled there as well. So we can choose when we want it to actually pick up human body detection. Out of the box, they're set up to be 24 hours a day around the clock, but you can choose the, uh, any specific times that you want it to actually recognise that feature. So just clicking OK down the bottom. And that's it for setting up the human body detection. Now we'll just see how that works on the actual camera itself. So you can see here it's picking up the human body as it moves around. Uh, the, the system will be able to track uh, four, four people at a time on any given picture, uh, depending obviously on what it's looking at. So you see here we have two people walking on the screen, picking up human body detection for both of those. So this will do a recording for uh, human body detection and motion obviously as well at the same time. So what we'll see here is we'll hop into the car and what we'll notice here is that human body detection is not recognised when driving a car. Uh, so it's very good at distinguishing between objects. So it really lowers down the false alarms that you might get. We'll see that car start to roll forward in a sec. So that's obviously going to trigger a motion detection but it's not going to trigger the human body detection. So if you're using this for push notifications, very good at stopping those false alarms. Uh, there is another video on how to set up those push notifications if that's something you're interested, interested in. So we can go in and have a look at those uh, recordings. So from the main menu, if we hit playback, first of all, um, sorry, just real quick, in my storage, I've got mine set up to be events, which will record all the VCAs as well and store those on the hard drive, as well as motion. Out of the box, preset as motion. Putting on an event will just enable the VCAs to be backed up as well. It takes a little bit more of the hard drive, but um, depending on what you're, what you're actually after and what you want to catch. So from the menu, just into playback. And what I can do is I can choose what I want to look at here. So I can retrieve the human body detection. That was a camera.
camera we're having a look at and just do the, the date search down here for whatever times you want to have a look at and just hit search. So from there we'll see a couple that have popped up. So we can actually just play that and that will play back. Skip forward a bit. It does pre-record and then we'll see there it's playing back the human body detection.